Quantitative methods allow you to engage with numbers, numerical evidence basically. So something we do every day, we talk about prices, we talk about percentages, we talk about stock markets, everything is put together in terms of numbers. But to engage with them systematically requires methods, it requires skills to be able to do this in a systematic way. And that's what we teach you, to use those numbers in a way that doesn't seem scary or confusing, but systematic and clear. Without quantitative skills, we wouldn't have the insight into our society that statistics and numerical data offer us. With quantitative data, we can understand more about the people who live in our society, their characteristics, their circumstances, their experiences, how these things are changing over time. And we need graduates, we need people with skills to interpret these data sources so that we can understand better what makes society tick and how we can make things better for people. Social and political science graduates should acquire quantitative skills, I think in part because they're demanded by employers. I think that they bring a more balanced learning and professionalism to the disciplines and they complement qualitative methods. They allow the graduates to um, approach questions and challenges from different perspectives and to be able to, in a rigorous and robust method, evaluate different research and be able to make sense of evidence that already exists. So we commonly are looking for graduates with quantitative skills. And if someone comes to us and they've got some understanding of quantitative research design, questionnaire design, sampling, then they're very well suited to the positions that we have in our survey research centre and associated with our survey projects. And that will put them at a great advantage compared with other graduates who don't have those particular sets of skills.